Hello there. Here's a video on a question I got on the Discord server and it had to do with uh, making an NPC uh, stop moving when it's not being looked or yeah, can only move when it's not being looked at. It says Weeping Angel style. Not a, familiar with that a lot but I looked it up and this is what I came up with. I thought it would be an interesting routine. It is based on uh, get nearby entities. So currently I have this guy set on 10 so he will detect uh, entities within 10 or players specifically within 10 blocks of him. That's why he's not stopping now but as soon as I get within 10 blocks of him he will freeze like that. So and as long as he's in my line of sight. So even though I have my back to him you can see on the mini map here he is just diagonally behind me, that red arrow in the middle. Um, so, But as soon as I go out of the line of sight, you can see he starts moving again, and he comes around here, and then he freezes again. So that's how this works. It, it, uh, if uh, it works as a can, if I can see the entity or he sees me I guess I have it set on. You can go either way with it. Either he sees me or I see him um, but it's using that can, uh, can see entity method and uh, so as long as I'm behind this wall he will continue to on his moving path around that area and as soon as he comes into my line of sight within 10 blocks he will freeze and it takes them a little while. So I thought of a better way actually and this this uh, uses um, actually this spawns in a completely different NPC and you can kinda of see him jump there. And this is this is based on to a range thing that's really the only way you can do it. He's within sometimes he kinda of jumps and that looks kinda of weird so and it also works on the can see. There he is. He's where is he? Oh, I guess I can see him right there. Okay, he froze. All right, hide behind this wall here. There he goes. Okay, he will come back and around the other side of this wall here. And he kind of jumps. That looks kind of weird, but I like this one kind of better than the other one, although, I don't know, I'm kind of split on the two methods. So actually I came up with actually a more sophisticated way of doing it, and this gives a nice little routine that I'll probably use in other things, but so this one is used, uh, he's using 20 blocks, okay, so his range is a little bit further, and it just looks, um, so it, it works a little bit nicer, I'll show you. But it's based on that one. You could also base it on this one over here if you wanted to. But uh, currently it's it's based on these routines over here. And uh, you could change it out. But see, he says, as soon as he can see me, he will say, see me, and he will stop. So I will back up about 20 blocks. And I have to be l looking within... 20 degrees of them, both in the horizontal and the vertical. So if I come here and I'm looking up in the sky, he's going to say, no, he I don't see him, okay. And I'm looking over here, but as soon as I look directly at him, he will freeze, you see. And then I, I look off to the side, and he's going to start moving again. So if I look up here. So this is kind of cool. It, it has a line of sight thing. It has the can scene, and then it also has the uh, the range aspect of <laughs> the uh, freezing the entity, but I like it that you you have to be looking directly at him and he will freeze like that. Look off to the side and he will start moving again. So I think this works kind of nice, and I'm going to do a number of things with this routine. Um, it is this is it right here. It's not. Uh, let me see. Yeah, well, when I added the other one, it, it kind of increased the length of it. So it goes from 70 to 166. So it's almost like 100 lines. But uh, it's, this is all the things that set his uh, 
um, his freezing and then unfreezes his animation. So is what that's all about. So, but it's it's when he lines up with me, he can freezes them. Okay. Well, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I um, hope Ender dudes or someone else finds this interesting. Maybe you can use it in their game. Thanks a lot. Bye. See ya.